Hello, everyone, and welcome. My name is Evan Mitchell, assistant to the village manager here for the village of Buffalo Grove. I want to welcome everyone here to the first session of the inaugural Buffalo Grove Resident Academy. In February of 2020, members of the community, village board, and staff began planning this academy, um, which would create an opportunity for uh, participants to learn about the operations of the village and its various departments. With a goal of improving transparency of village operations, engaging Buffalo Grove residents in the decision-making process, and fostering a dialogue about the issues facing the community. Originally, this program was intended to begin in early June. However, like all of you, the COVID-19 pandemic forced us to change our plans. The planning group put our heads together and explored several options to ensure the safety of those involved. This year's Academy will be streamed live for the next five Wednesdays at one o'clock. And don't worry, if you miss a session, each video will be posted to the Village's Facebook and YouTube pages. Each session will focus on a specific Village department. For example, this week's session is hosted by the Fire Department and ne next week's will be hosted by the Community Development Department. Each session will be broken out into a series of segments. The first segment will be an introduction um, of, to the department, as well as an overview of the work they do for the residents and businesses of this community. There will uh, also be at the end of uh, the presentation, a time for question and answers. So throughout this stream, if you have any questions about you know, the work the fire department does, feel free to uh, post them in the chat and we'll be uh, reading them off and getting live responses from our uh, dedicated fire personnel. So without further ado, I'll turn it over to uh, Fire Chief Mike Baker to introduce the work of the fire department. Hi everybody, my name is Mike Baker and I'm the Fire Chief and Emergency Management Director here in Buffalo Grove. Just a little bit about my background very quickly. Uh, I've been here in Buffalo Grove for seven years and I've had the honor to be your fire chief for the past five years. And I've been in the fire service for a total of 41 years. These are obviously extraordinary times, and this is quite a unique event to be able to take this and stream this live for you. A little bit about the fire department. Uh, the Buffalo Grove Fire Department was actually started as a volunteer fire department back in 1961. In December of 1972, Buffalo Grove Fire Department started providing advanced uh, life uh, safety support services uh, to the community, and it was actually one of the first communities in the state of Illinois to do so. We do have three strategically placed fire stations, Station 25 on Dundee Road to the south, Fire Station 26, which is the headquarters station, which is where we're at now on Deerfield Parkway, and Fire Station 27, which is on the northern borders of the village on Half Day Road. These services are provided with 54 uh, full-time career shift personnel uh, who provide a variety of emergency services. Obviously, the, the one that comes to mind uh, the most is our emergency medical services. And this takes up about 65% of our call volume per year. Our, all of our firefighters are trained as, as paramedics and must uh, maintain that certification throughout their career. Also, obviously, the name of the fire department has fire in it, but that's what we call that suppression. And that goes beyond what you think of normal structure fires or car fires and those kinds of things. We also check on carbon monoxide leaks any type of fire alarm problems, uh, potential gas leaks, down power lines, and a lot of those other types of things that are gonna be a threat to the public safety. Some of the other things though that are out there that we do provide that uh, are considered to be technical rescue services. And some of those include our technical rescue team. And th they are in charge of any time there's a rescue that would be above or below grade. Uh, if there's any type of a structure or building collapse, we also have a water operations team. And they're out there for any type of potential ice rescue, water rescue. Uh, they, we also have the ability to use side scan sonar to help locate people. Uh, also our hazardous materials team. They can be, uh, they're specially trained and we also have a large group of hazmat technicians in the area that we can also call upon. We also have our fire prevention bureau and our fire prevention bureau provides commercial building inspections. Some of the things obviously though is COVID. And because of the COVID impacts, our public facing events have been curtailed. 
And obviously with the fire department, as far as our, what we do and what we like to do as far as the open house and uh, blood pressures and school tours and everything else, obviously that's all been curtailed. We look forward to providing these programs in the future once it becomes safe to do so. Now I'm gonna hand it off to Battalion Chief Tubles, who's gonna be taking a walkthrough to, through Fire Station 26.